How are you guys? This is Rami Bas and welcome back to my channel. I am a huge fan of Japanese BL series. Year 2024 has just started and already so many Japanese BLs are being made that I was left speechless. So today in this video, we are going to look at BL series that were released in 2024. If I missed any series, then please comment down to let me know. So before we start the video, please like, subscribe and share my channel for more content like this. Now you can also join my channel through membership to get various perks at the various levels. So please do check it out. I won't bother you guys more. So let's get started. Osan's Love Returns Osan's Love Return is a sequel to the famous Japanese PL comedy series. The story follows two real estate agents and their love life. After moving in together, the main characters hire a housekeeping service. They are surprised to employ their former boss who has switched careers. The protagonists are also suspicious of their mysterious neighbors. The paranoia grow into hilariously over the top shenanigans. Osan's Love Return is a brilliant sequel to the beloved Japanese franchise. It delivers a good script, good entertainment and thoughtful character development. Osan's Love Return also balances hilarious jokes and heartwarming plots in a skillfully crafted narrative. I appreciate the meaningful themes about marriage, companionship and aging. It also spreads progressive messages about modern families. Overall, the series brings hours of exhilarating joy to our lives. Although I love you and you Although I love you and you is a Japanese BL series about a small restaurant owner and an office worker. After his last breakup, the main character only focuses on running his shop instead of dating again. He develops a secret crush on a new customer who enjoys his cooking. As they befriend each other, their budding relationship has romantic potential. However, the protagonist's ex-boyfriend returns and complicates their feelings. Although I Love You and You is a harmless romantic comedy series. The light-hearted story has a casual, relaxing vibe. It is a feel-good BL drama with lots of sincerity, but it takes too long to resolve the couple's conflict in the finale. Still, they find a decent compromise and finish the love story happily. This series is soft, sweet, and sentimental if you want a light and casual viewing experience. I loved it. Perfect Propose Perfect Propose is a Japanese BL series about two childhood friends who start living together. As kids, they once joked about marrying each other. The pair lost contact during their youth, but they reunited years later. Both moved into an apartment to cohabitat. The main character feels burned out from his stressful office job, causing a poor work-life balance. His roommate encouraged him to switch to a healthier routine. Perfect Propose explores a toxic workplace culture mirroring our prevalent issues in the technology sector. Like many real-life employees, the protagonists face urgent deadlines, abusive management, and overwhelming workloads. As a story, I admire Perfect Propose for tackling significant topics around the organizational culture. The series focuses excessively on work and not enough on love, but still I like this series a lot. My Strawberry Film High school sophomores Ryo, Hikaru and Chika are living a seemingly peaceful high school life while harboring hidden emotions. One day Hikaru and Chika find 8mm film in an old warehouse inside the school. A stunning girl in the film captures Hikaru's attention while Ryo worries about Hikaru and Chika keeps an eye on the beautiful girl whose gaze seems to pass by. It is a slow paced series but I don't find it boring. They emphasize on the atmosphere. I like the tension between the two mains and how different they are in their personalities and how they deal with their feelings. But the biggest problem of course is that the male leads are J-pop idol and the same boy band. So maybe there's a chance that they might not go full BL because their characters won't go all out gay either. I'm very excited to see how it plays out. Love is better the second time around. The story revolves around Akihiro Miyata, 
a mid-level editor who accidentally reunites with his first love, university professor Takashi Iwanaga while seeking his expertise for an economics column. Despite this accidental encounter, Miyata is determined to keep their relationship strictly professional. However, he struggles against Iwanaga's charm and the complexities of getting a second chance at love. A mature BL yet it's giving me butterflies. I love the pacing and the story is never boring. I enjoy the little bickering between the main leads. The chemistry between the characters is amazing and the story is so entertaining. The bed scene was also surprisingly very good. This is an impressive BL. I plan to read the manga once this is over. Nothing is going to happen between me and Senpai. Famous last words. Living with him. Ryo Natsukawa is starting university and he suddenly finds that his roommate is going to be his childhood friend, Kazuhito Tanaka. Despite Kazuhito's picture-perfect look, he does not have a girlfriend. Curious as to why this is, Ryota proposes they go on a date to see if he can find any issues women may have with Kazuhito. However, as Ryota gets to know more about Kazuhito, their relationship changes. Will they just remain friends or will their relationship blossom into something more? I don't know why, but I'm already loving this series and the vibe it gives off. So I'm really waiting for it. Act 25 in Akasaka Yuki Shirasaki finally lands a huge role in TV drama Afternoon's Dream after years of toiling in theatre. With popular actor Asami Hayama as his co-star, he plays a gay character in a relationship. But he has zero dating experience with either men or women. He struggles to express his character's feeling and take drastic measures to become a better actor. To better embrace his new role, Shirasaki goes to a gay bar to find someone to sleep with for the experience. There he runs into Hayama. How will he react to the Asami's offer? Video streaming platform Gaga Olala and TV Tokyo, one of the Japan's most prominent TV networks, have together announced the premiere of the highly anticipated co-production of a BL live-action drama. Titled At 25 in Akasaka, it is a 10-episode drama which is based on the popular manga by Hiroko Natsuno. I am waiting for it. So that's it for today's video guys. I know that these are not the only good ones so there are more videos to come in the future. Wait for it. Hope you guys liked it. Again, if I miss some of your favorite series then please comment down to let me know. I will make another video for it. Now you can also join my channel through membership to get various perks at the various levels. So please do check it out. Like my video, share and subscribe my channel for more. Bye bye.